Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. It's been a little bit since I posted a video, so I thought I'd do one today, catch you guys all up on the happenings in my world. Um, so if you follow my channel, you'll know that I dealt with a death in the family about a month ago. My dad passed away. I've talked about that. There's some videos on there for you to watch if you're interested. And now I've had another one. My dog you normally see walking around over here, that brown Vishla. Murphy James is his name. Uh, 14 and a half years old, and he passed away last Thursday. Now, last few years, I've had a lot of deaths in my family, and uh, it's been pretty difficult. Yeah, but I got to tell you, this is the hardest I've, I've been hit. Uh, my dog, he goes everywhere with me, he sleeps in the bed next to me. Um, Wherever I'm at in the house, he's following me, he's right there, and now he's gone, and I'm having a real hard time with it. Yeah, I didn't know at 53 years old, I still had crying in me. I, uh, Thursday to till today, I can't tell you how many times I broke down. It's just been unreal. It's been so hard. So, you know, I take um, some medication in the morning, and I have for about three, three four years now, and it's for anxiety, but it also treats depression. And I don't have a depression issue. I've never had depression before. But, um, man, I don't know what this would be like if I didn't have that in me right now. And that's citalopram, by the way. I take citalopram, 40 milligrams, every morning. But, man, if I didn't have that medicine, it hurts so bad with it, I can't imagine what it would feel like without it. Have you guys ever been so close to a pet... Um, that when, when he passed away or she passed away, it hurt like this. Uh, I, can't, um, I can't compare it to anything I've ever felt in my life. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's so hard. But um, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you what's been going on. That's been going on, and it's been really, really difficult. So my, for my wife as well, even though he's my dog and he followed me around, she was his caregiver, you know, um, he's had a lot of things in his life. You know, he had uh, cancer and they take a, took a big chunk off his side. He had um, a heart issue to where one of, his, um, one of his valves was the right size, but the hole that the valve goes against was too small. So it had a normal size valve with a hole too small. They put a balloon in there and blew up that, that that artery to make it bigger so the right amount of blood would go through and then and then the valve would close and, and that was successful and you know that was years ago both of those things so he did really well but recently what happened was well I won't say it's recently about two years ago they said he had a year left because his back leg uh, his back left leg quit working pretty much. He couldn't use it for much. His mobility got pretty difficult. He was still hobbling around on three legs, but that one was just not as strong as it should be. And it wasn't hip dysplasia. It had to do with degeneration of his, uh, his spine and the way the electrical currents were going to it. Um, so that quit working. And then recently the right one started to go too, and it just, he was falling all over the place. So it was just a mess. It was sad. It was horrible. And I knew it was time, but my gosh, uh, what I wouldn't do to have my dog back. So anyway, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, been working on uh, a couple of uh, things as far as businesses going forward. Um, I've got, you know, the big business I've talked about in the past that I've got the system being built for. That is getting there. It's doing really well. Um, I put together a quick little junk removal business for my daughter and her fiance. And um, that's here in the Duluth, Minnesota area because they're not living here right now. They're coming here. So I put together a little business. So when they get here, they have some way to make an income. It's called My Junk Removal, myjunkremoval.com. You can check that out. That goes live next week. The website's up, but the ads start next week for them. So that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, but not much else going on. I got out to Gooseberry Falls today. I did a hike, put three miles on. And, you know, hiking is supposed to be my happy place. And it's supposed to be um, something I do to clear my head and make myself feel better. But, man, I get out on that trail. I just want to get home. 
I just in a funk and I just I don't know how long this is gonna last but this is this is tough so I've been hiking every day uh, since this happened but I gotta really push myself through to, to get through a hike I just want to turn around and come home I just want to sit on the trail and cry to be honest with you but what do you do you know it sucks so anyway um, guys I appreciate all you uh, this, the channel I think is going to hit 700,000. Is it seven? I forget now. Or is it eight? Maybe it's eight. I forget. Let me look here real quick. I forget. We're climbing though. I can tell you that we're climbing fast right now. So yeah, we'll hit seven. We're at 694. We're going to hit 700,000 subscribers probably in the next few days. Uh, it's going up pretty fast right now. So that's, that's exciting for the channel. It couldn't have happened without all you guys. So thank you for coming along. And, um, you know, I know the channel has been dark and gloomy the last month because of dad passing away and now my dog, but I, I will get through this and we'll get back to talking about happy stuff. You know, my channel's got a lot to do with mental health stuff, so you're watching it unfold with me right now. I'm, I'm dealing with some mental health issues right now and it, and it sucks. Um, but I have support in my fam with my family. I have, I have good, su good support system. I've got good friends and, uh, you know, I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. Um, I used to drink a lot years ago, and this would be something that I would drink alcohol to help me get over, and I'm not doing that right now. I, I don't drink at all anymore, and, but man, I kind of go back to those old thoughts like, gosh, maybe a couple of beers or something would make me feel better. I'm not going to do that, but um, yeah, you know, just, just getting through it the normal way, and I haven't really done this in the past where I've had something so so bad happened that, uh, that I'm, I've been struggling like this, you know, but anyway, I'll, I'll make some videos coming up. You won't have to wait so long for the next one. I love all you guys. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm going to get through this and I'll talk to you guys all on the next video. Take care guys. Bye.